Well, this is nice. We have a uh, young man, very funny young man, making his network television debut with us this evening. What a lovely thing that is. He will be performing at Crackers Comedy Club in Indianapolis, Indiana, from uh, March 18th through the 21st. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Keith Alberstadt. Keith? <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very nice. I am so excited to be here. I am not a fan of the cold weather. Not so much because I am from the South, but because I am starting to lose my winter coat. <laughs> That's a weird pattern. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to lose most of my hair. We can agree on that, right? But if you look real close, you'll see what's happening. This little patch is going to hang on right there. <laughs> look at that. That sucks. It's going to be like an episode of Lost on top of my head, just an island surrounded by confusion and despair. So I'm going to grow it out like a reverse ponytail. Let it grow right there in front of my face and braid it. That's going to be my niche. People are going to leave my shows going, you know who was funny? That bald unicorn. Magically delicious. I'm a little behind the curve with the technology. Everybody's texting nowadays, except me. There's not even a text messaging plan in my phone. Whenever I have to send a text message or read one, I just pay the 15 cent charge they give me on my bill. But I made the mistake of telling my friends that I hate texting, so now they text message me all the time, just to make me mad. In fact, one I got today, all it said was 15 cents. <laughs> That's not cool. Got to travel overseas last year, that was fun. Connected in Tokyo, there was a, a Japanese gentleman at the airport. He was just trying to make conversation with me. He says, uh, where are you from? I said, I'm from the U.S. Now, I'm not making this up. His response was this. Hey, that's where Bon Jovi's from. <laughs> really? We have so much more to offer. <laughs> so that's what he came to bat with first, Bon Jovi. <laughs> then it occurred to me, that's what Americans like myself must sound like to people from other countries when we're just trying to make conversation. We say the first thing out of our mouth about that country that we can remember? Where are you from? France? Hey, Eiffel Tower. Where are you from? China? Hey, you got a wall, don't you? Where are you from? Canada? I got nothing. Get to go home for Easter. That's kind of cool. Worked out this time. Because, you know, it changes every year. This year, Easter is in April. But last year, it was in March because the Pope saw his shadow. That's how they figured it out. <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> Got to give up something for Lent because we're Catholic. Had to give up. I, last year, I gave up drinking for Lent. Did that. I almost gave up coffee. Couldn't do it. Couldn't pull the trigger. I cannot function without coffee. Coffee is my thinking juice. Alcohol is my, what the hell was I thinking juice? <laughs> it's a no-brainer. But drinking's fun, right? The right environment makes things a little more entertaining. Like when you're trying to actually win Jeopardy while watching at home. <laughs> That's impossible. They are crazy good at that, and we're not. In fact, if I were ever a contestant on Jeopardy, I know I would lose. So to guarantee cash in hand, here's my game plan. I would sell my answer space for corporate advertising. <laughs> the Mona Lisa was painted here. <laughs> yes, Keith. What is Gatorade? <laughs> Why do you keep saying that, Keith? You lose. Oh, do I, Alex? Why not, right? You gotta have fun. This is what you do. The last day you're in a hotel room, take yourself a really hot shower. Steam up your mirror really good, and then when you get out of the shower, you write in the mirror, hello, Victor. <laughs> when the steam clears, the words will disappear. Next guest comes in, he takes a shower. <laughs> words reappear. <laughs> Chances of his name being Victor, I admit, pretty slim. But, <laughs> the 
If his name is Victor, you have successfully scared the hell out of somebody. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. Lovely. Thank you very much, Mr. Alberstadt. We'll be right back with Beirut, everybody.